All right, fellas. Fun Friday time. Are you excited? You better be. All right, so I'm not sure if you're listening to this in the morning. If you are, I may be a little bit too much energy for you, but I'm recording this in the afternoon. I'm feeling good. Let's go. We're getting right into Matthew 18, okay? So Matthew 18 is where we're at this week. One verse, verse 22, Jesus said unto them, I say not unto these up to seven times, but until 70 times seven. Fellas, all about forgiveness this week. We're talking about forgiving your neighbors. That verse, you need to simplify and apply it. And here's the simplify and apply the method. It ain't about math. It's about forgiveness. Always, always lead with forgiveness. Forgiveness does nothing but rob you of joy. Now, I spent a lot of time on our spiritual kickoff, as well as the main episode this week, talking about forgiveness. What does that look like? How can we actually apply that to our life? So guys, you got no excuses at this point. Go back and listen to those two episodes. Really unpack that in depth to give you some insight, to give you some wisdom, to give you some discernment, to help you understand what true forgiveness looks like, okay? Go back, check that stuff out. We'll love your feedback on those. And let me know, are you enjoying that format usually once a month where we're giving you a little bit of deeper, dropping the plow, just going a little bit with some more scripture? We'll love your insight on that, okay? Now, let's get into our tips. We've got a health tip, wealth tip, self tip. Now, remember, health tip is your mind and your body. Wealth tip is career and finances. Self tip is how to be a better husband, dad. And I tried to tie all three of these tips around the idea of forgiveness in general, okay? Now, the first one, the health tip. Forgive yourself first. Let me say that again. Forgive yourself first. Think about this. When you fly on a, on a plane, I'm actually getting ready to head out on a flight here in a, in a day or so. When you fly on a plane, they go through the instructions of you know how, how to take care of yourself when something happens on the air flight. The first thing they tell you, is before you can help anyone, you need to put that oxygen oxygen mask on yourself, right? Why? Because if you don't have that mask on and you go to try to help others, well, you're going to have your own issues and you're going to be ineffective. And I see too many guys out here who say, I've done too much wrong. I'm I'm bad. I'm no good. I'm no count. I'm like, bro, no, no, that is not true. That's lies from the evil one. You need to cast that stuff back to the pits of hell where it belongs. You are a blood-bought believer. Jesus loves you. God loves you. You have value. Forgive yourself. You can't keep beating yourself up. It's All it's doing is robbing your joy out of your day, out of your life. And Satan wants you to stay there. He does not want you to forgive yourself. He wants you to think that you're wretched, that you're wicked, that you're no good. You need to rebuke all that, send all that back to the gates of hell where it belongs, and start forgiving yourself. It's okay. You're going to make mistakes. Extend yourself some grace for crying out loud. And forgive yourself. So what? You made a mistake and, and, and it cost you $5,000. I don't know. Let's just make some, make, let's, let's say it's monetary. You know what? In the big scheme of things, in the big scheme of life, Is that really going to be something that you remember 20 years from now? Probably not. How you respond to that, that probably does matter because people are watching. So you need to make sure, be able to extend extend forgiveness to others. You've got to forgive yourself first, bro. So really think through that. Okay. How can you forgive yourself first? Now, wealth tip. I want you to think about how you can forgive yourself of previous financial decisions. We've all made those bad mistakes, right? Like, geez, Louise, you had the buyer's remorse. Like, I cannot believe I bought that, right? Maybe you get home and you bought it after buying that brand new truck that just could not wait to get. And you get that first payment. You're like, no, bro, I didn't need that. I didn't need that. I get it. I get it. We all make bad mistakes. I, if you can do stupid with money. I have done stupid with money, okay? What we need to do is learn, forgive ourselves, and move forward. That's what being a good steward is all about. So look, it's not just saying, you know what, I'm going to willy-nilly make another stupid mistake with finances and ask for forgiveness. No, that's saying, look, when you truly are for, made a mistake, forgive yourself, okay? 
make and make amends there. Now think about this. If you're willing, if you actually lend money to others, maybe you need to forgive some debts that people owe you. I'm not saying that's the case, but there's an opportunity for a ministry to share the good news of the gospel with others by just extending forgiveness to someone who maybe doesn't deserve it, right? So think about that. Who may, are there areas that people, or people you need to, from a debt standpoint that you need to consider forgiving and also forgive yourself from those bad financial decisions because you're going to make them. That's just, you're human. We're going to make bad financial decisions. But just walking around reeling and just beating ourselves up all the time does not serve us, guys. Make sure that you are forgiving yourself in that area, particularly around finances, so that you can move forward to be the steward he's called you to be. All right, now, the self-tip. Again, this is husbands and dads, okay? Really good conversation with my wife on this one. Don't be hysterical or historical when you're forgiving others. OK, now here's the deal. Like we get into arguments, you get into discussions or whatever it may be. And all of a sudden, if you find yourself, your voice is getting elevated, you get all amped up. Well, all of a sudden you become hysterical. You're not thinking right. So you better stop. You're not going to be able to forgive that way. Or you get into that argument and you bring up things that happened back in 2006. When, don't, were, don't you remember, girl, 20 years ago when you said this? And I'm still, you know, I'm still upset about it. Right. That's being historical. Can't do that. True forgiveness is not hysterical or historical. True forgiveness is just that. It's forgiveness with love. So if you find yourself getting all amped up or getting getting jerked or starting to think about uh, thinking or thinking about all the things that are happening in your life where you just want to forgive others, where you can't forgive others and you just want to keep bringing up these things that happen and over and over and over and you just can't forgive, that's not going to serve you well at all. So be careful here, fellas. This is an area of our life that we can't control. You can control your emotions. And as the man, particularly if you're leading your household, the way, the words you use, the actions you take, the words you speak, all that stuff matters, fellas. I'm telling you, it matters big time, okay? So be careful that you're not becoming historical or hysterical when it comes to forgiveness. So there are your three tips, your health tip, will tip, and self tip. That health was forgive yourself first. Guys, you need to pay attention to that one. Forgive yourself first. Take some action there. Wealth tip. Forgive your previous financial decisions. We've all done stupid with money. Don't, don't keep bringing it up. Don't make the same mistakes over. Live, learn, move forward. And your self tip. Don't be hysterical or historical when it comes to forgiving. Got it? All right, fellas. Now, book of the week. Now, full disclosure, I have not read this book. Uh, my good friend Adam Sheets, by the way, for this episode, I'm recording it in his studio. Uh, we were actually trying to sell our, our house or, or I couldn't get access to my studio. He graciously allowed me to use his, his setup today. Uh, I've recorded a couple episodes. If you guys see this one or maybe a previous episode, that's uh, because we were batching some episodes here uh, in his studio. So very gracious for him. And this is a book that Adam's actually been working through. It's called Good Boundaries and Goodbyes. Okay. Loving others without losing the best who you are. Uh, so this is a very good book. He's been, he's he really in, has been enjoying it and, and pointing me to this. It talks about five factors to remember when you're implementing healthy boundaries. It talks about determine the appropriate amount of personal and emotional access someone has to you based on how responsible they'll be with that access. Okay, so just being careful who you let speak into your life. This talks about stop being misled and emotionally paralyzed by wrongly interpreted or weaponized scriptures. So making sure that the word again is used in the right way for, for building, for correcting, for rebuking, and not to tear us down. It's, it says it's here, be equipped to say goodbye without guilt when a relationship has shifted from difficult to destructive. It's no longer sustainable. So I'm going to tell you what, that is a very, very important uh, item to consider right there. Okay, so too many times we hang on to relationships because they've just been there for forever. And if that relationship is not serving you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you just holding on just because just you just want to hold on? That's probably not, that's, that's not good advice. That's not good leadership, okay? Sometimes the best thing a leader can do is just go ahead and break that tie. You know, you try to correct it. You do. You do all you can to reconcile. Reconciliation doesn't exist. You got to move forward. Got A good leader recognizes, you know what? This path, is, this path here is not fruitful. I need to do an about face. 
go this direction. That's what it's all about. So again, check this book out. I full description, I have not read it personally. I do plan to read it, uh, but we'll make this, this link available on the show notes. Good boundaries and good buys. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. All right, now, dad joke time. You know, I know you love, you guys love your dad jokes. Number one, how do you get a country girl's attention? A tractor. Get it? All right, fellas, I like that one personally. Number two, what do you call an angry counselor? A therapist. <laughs> so there you go, fellas. I don't know. I'm kind of torn this week on which ones I like the most. Number one, how do you get an angry, a country girl's attention? A tractor. Number two, what do you call an angry counselor? Therapist. So I don't know. You let me know which one lands best. Remember, I rolls count. I know which one got my wife going, Becca. Uh, I'll see you on that tractor later, girl. So just yeah, I know which one gets her what's what gets her attention. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy those. Uh, if you have a dad joke that you want to be considered for the show, hey, email me support at the line within us. If I use it, I'll give you a shout out on the show, give you some recognition. Always looking for good dad jokes and also always looking for good tips of the week. So if you have a tip that you have really found value in, send it over. Support at the line within us. I'll give you a free uh, a shout out here on the show. I'll even hook you up with, with, with one of our resources for free just to give you something to, for taking the time to support the show. So we'd love to hear your tips, things like that to help you be better husbands, better dads, better stewards. Uh, take care of your mind and your body better. So let me know what those tips are. Be glad to share those out with others, okay? Now, so the question this week is all been about forgiveness, okay? But really, how can forgiveness extend beyond the limits we set? We put limits on everything, right? We even put limits on God. We put God in a box. You can't tell me you don't put God in a box. You know why? Because I put God in a box sometimes. We got to take him out because we can forgive extravagantly when we forgive God's way. But that means taking a whole different view on what forgiveness looks like, okay? Big time difference there. Big time difference. So hopefully you guys can start thinking about forgiveness that extend beyond the limits that you set in your life. Okay? All right now, fellas. So get after it. Look, share this out with others. I'm telling you, that's the biggest thing you can do to help the show. Hop on over to the lionwithin.us. Get the 30 days to unleash the line within. That's free. Hop on that. Tons of resources there for you uh, to get started. We have our daily spiritual kickoff to get started. We have our community to get started. You can That's a 30-day free trial on the community. We have the leadership coalition. So if you're a business leader and you want to start start amping up and start taking God's word and applying it directly to, the, to your work, so you're not just have the separation of work and, and faith, you want to bring those two worlds together, the leadership coalition is where it's at, fellas. So go check that out. Submit your application to be uh, considered for that program as we move forward, okay? So check that out. Go check out our swag. Okay, we have the Never Retreat shirts. We have our Line Within Us shirts. We have our Line Within Us hats. Guys, we have stickers. We have uh, coffee mugs. We have ways to hook you guys up so you can get out there and have that conversation started with others around the Line Within Us, how we serve you, how it's helped you grow, how it's helped you be the leader that, that God intends you to be. So we'd love your support there. Maybe you want to be a donor for the show. We have lots of donors. We'd love to have you to, to hop on as a monthly donor. You can any amount it helps big time. If you want to support a uh, member for for a month, we do that where we have sponsored guys who are sponsored by others. But that's always an option for you guys to jump on. And you know what? I may not be ready to join a community or anything like that right now. I don't have the time, but I want to support the line within us because I'm joining the show every week. It's helping me grow. That's a great way to do it. Okay, just go over to the line within us. You'll see a donate button over there. Hit pop on that, and you can set to get that set up very easily. Okay. All right, guys, come back next week. Got a lot more content planned for you. Trying to get, just keep giving you good, uh, positive, encouraging feedback, hopefully that, that serves you well and helps you keep growing. So don't forget, it's all about forgiving others. Don't put those parameters around. Use some of these tips that we shared this week to help improve your forgiveness. I'm telling you, if you lean into this stuff, guys, it's going to make a big difference. But you got to put in the work. All right, fellas, get after it. Stay strong. Do what you got to do. Be obedient. And also, never forget to unleash the lion within. Are you enjoying the weekly spiritual kickoff? If so, we are now offering a way to participate in our live daily spiritual kickoffs that happen Monday through Friday 
in our community. This is your chance to chat with me directly and other members of our community to dive into scripture and to leave with practical ways to simplify and apply God's word to your daily walk. And here's the best part. You get all of this for just $5 a month. So for what most people pay for a breakfast meal, you can join us on this journey of spiritual growth and leadership, which will always lead you full. Our community is dedicated to supporting each other and pushing forward in our faith. Come join me in the lion's den and become the leader God intends you to be. Sign up now at thelionwithin.us and let's start this journey together. Remember, it's only $5 a month for this amazing opportunity. So visit thelionwithin.us so you don't miss out.